It's the last leg of the late elder statesman's journey to his final resting place. The casket bearing the body of Niger's first executive vice president, Dr. Alexander Ekweme, arrives at the St. John the Divine Anglican Church in Oko, his hometown in Anambra State. In his homily, the primate of all Nigerian Anglican communion, Most Reverend Nicholas Oko, emphasizes the importance of education and integrity as key to a stable society and both virtues associated with the late Dr. Ekweme. We've been told how loyal, dedicated, and erudite he was in his office as the vice president of Nigeria. The funeral eulogy is delivered by one of Chief Ekweme's associates and former Commonwealth Secretary General, Chief Emeka Nyoku. He draws inspiration from the elder statesman's track record of service to both Nigeria and humanity. Dr. Alex Ekweme has left remarkable legacy in three key areas. In politics, in national and international service, and in philanthropy. Let me urge you not to weep any longer, because Unuan and Yokonine are lucky to have associated with this great fellow, this patriot. That will make you very proud. Governor Willie Obiano recognizes his eminent guest of the day, including Nigeria's former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, state governors, political chieftains, and the present vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, who remembers Dr. Ekweme's life of selfless service. In the commemoration of the life and contributions to our nation by Alex Ifyani Chuku Ekweme, GCON, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, has approved and directed that the Federal University Ndufo Alike Eboyi State be now renamed and become known as the Alex Ekweme Federal University. But it is his family members, led by his brother and the elder son, who have the fondest memories of the distinguished politician. The fees normally charged by the National Theatre Conference Banquet Hall where this event took place was paid by Alex out of his own pocket. And the rhythm given to the choir was from his pocket. That was his idea of integrity. Oko had stood still today. The nation has stood still today to honor a man who I believe perhaps his kind uh, shows up once in many decades. And today we are saying a big thank you. As Dr. Kweme is conveyed by a pleased guard of honor to his final resting place, his legacies of dedicated service, humility, and positive impact on society are reflected in the words from Nigeria's national anthem, the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain.